Hey guys, Avi here and welcome back to our web development series. Now in the last lecture, we learned how to add inline CSS to our document and we saw the result. Um, we added a style background color orange and that gave us this nice orange background. And then we added another style tag to our paragraphs and gave them a color black font family Verdana and that modified all these paragraphs. Now in this lecture, before we move on to learning what is external CSS and creating a completely new CSS file, we need to understand what a div tag is, all right? Basically, any website that you make in the future, any sort of, you know, simple marketing website, or maybe something complex, a marketplace, all of those websites will deal with div tags. And the usage of a div tag is to basically separate out items, put them in a division or in a section, and then modify them with CSS. For example, let's say, that I wanted this header, all these four headers, so heading one, heading two, heading three, and heading four, all four of these to have a different background color. I don't want it to be this orange color, I want it to be blue or green. I can do that by adding div tags before and after it, thus placing it in this invisible container. Let's go ahead and do so. So right before your H1 tag, create a new div tag, and then after your H4 tag, end it. So let's end it with div, fantastic. So if you run it and refresh this page, nothing's changed. And basically all we've said is, hey, place these four header tags inside of an invisible container. And then you can modify the invisible container using CSS. So basically div tags and CSS are very closely related. You're gonna be using them a lot as we continue through this course. So what I want you to do is go ahead and say div, style is equal to background color and I'm going to say, let's go with um, red. Uh, I forgot a semicolon, so save that, refresh. And now we have just the four headings in a nice red background. So how do we do it? Well, just to quickly recap, the div element, the div tag is used as a separator or a section maker. And what it does is anything you put after the div tags or anything you put inside the div tags, it creates an invisible container. So what I can do now is I can have div tags inside of div tags. Let's say I want heading four and heading three to be um, yellow, okay, instead of a background yellow. What I can do is I can create a new div tag, put it, end it after heading four, thus placing these two headers in another invisible container, and then saying style equal to background color and then uh, we're saying yellow, semicolon. So save that, refresh, and now we have, even though all four of these headings were supposed to be red, we then overwrote the background color for these two headings and made it yellow instead. So that's basically how div tags work, all right? They're invisible containers in which you place tags or you place objects inside, and then you can modify it with CSS. Let's go ahead and try it a bit more. Let's go down to our lists and try modifying list. Let's say I wanna make, um, I don't know, let's take our UL list, UL um, right up till here, so UL and OL, and let's place a div tag before and then the ending after both lists. And then let's go ahead and change the font. So style is equal to and then we have our font size. Let's go ahead and make it 30 pixels. And then we have uh, font family. And I'm gonna say Arial, okay, refresh. And now we have this entire, both of these lists bigger and in a different font. So that's divs in a brief five minutes. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. You're gonna be using divs everywhere. So every section or every part of your website can be divided into chunks and little sections and each of those sections will be a div tag. For example, you take a look at Facebook, the nav bar might be a div tag, the home feed might be a div tag, on the left the menus are div tags, all of these, all of the arrangements are done through div tags. All right guys, thank you so much for listening. Um, that's it for this lecture. We basically covered what are div tags and how to use them. Again, Thanks for subscribing and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next lecture.